Caldas. People going everywhere trying to get by Chase Mattiola. And there's Trouble. the caution. Around goes the 97 of Matt Lofton. Still driving a caution. Got a spin up here ahead. No caution yet. Caution. Thirteenth caution of the day has come out. This time it was Lofton. There was a lot of contact down there as well. Those guys fighting for the territory or the real estate on the track. Exactly what you were talking about. The last thing Johnny Sauter wanted to see right there. There's no guarantee that he will emerge after this restart. Not, not to mention trying to get by Kyle. There's no guarantee that he'll maintain the second position. No. He did a great job the last restart to hold second. Take a look. This started early and it got ugly. Check it out. Three wide, Chase Mattioli gets split. The 32 truck of Brad Sweet, he has no way of making this corner, so he just uses Miguel Pluto to, use, to make it, and Shane Spe Sieg spins out Matt Lofton. I'll be darned. There's a lot of people there. <laughs> Shane Sieg, Shane, look at Shane Sieg coming in here on the bottom. Yeah. There was no way he was making that turn. Well, he no. was just following Brad Sweet, and there was no way he was going to make it either, so <laughs> he said, if Brad can make it, I'm going to. Neither one of them would have made it if they didn't have someone to bounce off of. Those eight tires are better than four thing. Look, he had to go past Mattioli up over the curb, the curb <laughs> in order to get to the 97 truck and wreck him. And that's after Brad Sweet missed the corner and, and took to out run. Miguel Paluto up to the outside wall. Watch this in a hurry. Things happen in a hurry. That escalated quickly. That had an ominous look when they came out to start finish line, all spread out all over the racetrack. Hermie. Hey guys, we've been talking about Ricky Carmichael pretty much all day long, running in the top five. Well, on that last restart, he got shoved up the racetrack. You can see it right here. He gets on, uh, takes the green flag, goes down in turn one, and just watch what happens right here. Gets in, gets a little bit of help, gets knocked up the racetrack. Got into that loose stuff that Michael and Phil and everybody's been talking about. Lost 12 spots in total on that restart. Now he's trying to make it back up and somehow get back in the top 10 before this race is over. Tough break for Ricky Carmichael. You know, as, as Herman was talking about, part of that was, was brought on by Ricky not getting a very good restart. When he got in the throttle, he'd lost several, several truck lengths before they got down to turn number one. This is going to be big, guys. 